you report that the meat industry has unsafe working conditions. So you really detail the experience of this one woman, Carmen Lita, who was working at a meat packing uh, plant. Can you elaborate on her experience? That story really just shook me. Mm -hmm. And I went through hundreds of lawsuits to decide what we want to put in the book at the end of the day. And I just had to leave with Carmelita's story because not only is there harassment and a pattern of it escalating and her being ignored and continue to be sidelined in this plant, a, a JBS plant in Utah, um, but on top of that, you know, she was a member of the a Native American group in Utah and felt such a strong visceral reaction to what she saw in the plant that she also included not just harassment but religious discrimination in her suit and you know that all kind of culminated in this moment where you know she had been hurt and injured on the job several times and pushed aside and then eventually her manager told her that she got her essentially her last potential assignment and this was the only place they wanted to put her and that ends up being this place that everyone at the plant called the gut bin can you describe the gut bin? Heinous, horrendous, mm -hmm. feces, grease, lots of all these just kind of rogue elements, animal parts. A place no one wants to work. Yes, and Carmelita said she had such a visceral reaction to the atrocities she saw in the gut bin that she had an immediate psychological breakdown because it just completely misaligned with everything she had ever understood about nature and her religion. Is her experience common in these types of work environments? There are countless stories of harassment and discrimination that I've seen via lawsuits just even, you know, let alone mm -hmm. workers coming forward and not doing anything legal and sharing their own personal stories. There unfortunately just is a, a pattern in these plants of violence and, you know, unfortunately often cases that they're being ignored and retaliated against. Yeah, and you detailed cases of both unsafe working conditions, someone had a miscarriage, they were pregnant, someone, I think it was Carmen Lita, hurt her elbow, things like that. Also, sexual harassment was rife in what you were reporting. So is there any progress on either of these fronts being made in these plants? I can't speak to that. I mean, there, there's, there's nothing substantial, nothing meaningful that has put forth that, that that would protect these workers. There are unions. I think that's one of the strongest way to protect these workers. And uh, like in Carmelita's case, even her union rep was representing her and fighting for her, which is how she was partially able to get a settlement. But in a lot of cases, these plants are at the mercy of the managers, and it's a very case-by-case -case situation.